Use code SPIKEFEEDERS for 5% off at facetofacegames.com. You can shop face-to-face games in US dollars, Canadian dollars, or even euros, and they'll ship just about everywhere. That's code SPIKEFEEDERS at checkout at facetofacegames.com to help support the show. And we are back. Today, Jerry is playing with our awesome patrons. First in turn order, Carson is playing Blanca. This is a Gruul Storm list that uses targeted spells to trigger Blanca's triggered ability. Next up, Evan is playing Luris. Now, Luris is his commander, so he doesn't have to comply with the companion restriction, but most of the cards in the deck do cost less than two. Third, Jerry's playing Nickel Bolas. This is a pretty mean Grixis deck that you've seen on the channel before. It plays a lot of Planeswalkers and is pretty controlly. And finally, Looter's playing Falco Spara. This is a heavy creature-based list that plays a lot of counter synergy. Kicking off turn one, Carson draws a card, plays a forest, then casts a soul ring and passes. Evan draws a card, plays a planes, and casts an Esper Sentinel. Then he passes to Jerry. Jerry draws, plays an island, and casts his own soul ring. This triggers Esper Sentinel, and Jerry never pays, so Evan draws. He casts an Arcane Signet off the Soul Ring and passes the turn. Looter draws, plays a Radiant Grove, and passes to Carson. Carson untaps, draws a card, and plays a Mountain. He casts Cultivate, and unlike Jerry, he pays for his Esper Sentinel triggers. He gets a Mountain into play tapped and a Forest to hand before passing the turn. Evan untaps, draws a card, and plays a Vault of Champions untapped. He casts a Sarah Ascendant, then moves to combat. He swings Esper Sentinel at Carson, and there's no block, so Carson goes to 39, then Evan passes. Jerry untaps, draws a card, and plays a Swamp. He casts Nickel Bolas the Ravager. This forces Looter, Evan, and Carson to discard a card each, so Looter discards together forever, Carson discards a Mountain, and Evan discards Viscerous Seer. Then Jerry passes. Looter untaps, draws a card, and plays a Plains. She casts a Luminarch Aspirant. She moves to combat, putting a plus one plus one counter on the Luminarch Aspirant, and then passes to Carson. Carson kicks off turn three by untapping, drawing a card, and playing a forest as his land for turn. He casts Recycle. This triggers the Esper Sentinel, but this time Carson doesn't pay. So Evan draws a card. Carson moves to his end step, discarding Collective Voyage and Balaged Recovery because his new hand size is two thanks to Recycle. Evan untaps, draws a card, and plays a Swamp. He immediately moves to combat. He swings Sarah Ascendant at Jerry and Esper Sentinel at Carson. There's no blocks, so Jerry takes 6 going to 34, and Carson takes 1 going to 38. Evan gains 6 off lifelink and goes to 46. In his post-combat main, he casts Luris, then passes the turn. Jerry untaps, draws a card, and plays a mountain. He casts Ashiok, Nightmare Muse. This triggers Esper Sentinel, but everybody at the table missed it. He uses Ashiok's ability to bounce Sarah Ascendant back to Evan's hand, then exiles Phyrexian Altar from his hand. Jerry passes the turn. Looter untaps, draws a card, and plays a Prismatic Vista, cracking it going to 39. She grabs an island, then casts Avon Courier. She moves to combat, triggering Luminarch Aspirant, and this time puts the plus one plus one counter on Avon Courier, then moves through combat and passes the turn. On turn four, Carson untaps, and for this turn, keep in mind that Carson has Recycle out, which will trigger every time he plays a card. He plays a forest and draws a card. He casts Blanca, Ferocious Friend, and draws a card. He moves to combat, attacking Evan for 5 with Blanca. There's no block, so Evan goes to 41 and takes 5 Blanca damage. Carson casts Light Up the Stage, triggering Esper Sentinel, and pays for it. This triggers Recycle, so Carson draws 1. He exiles Irresistible Prey and Wandering Archaic to Light Up the Stage. In his end step, he discards back down to hand size, binning a forest and a Kessig wolf run. Evan untaps, draws a card, and plays a planes. He casts Mishra's Bauble. He recasts the Sarah Ascendant, then follows it up with a deadly dispute. He sacks the Mishra's Bauble to make a treasure and draw two cards. Using Luris's ability, he recasts Mishra's Bauble from the graveyard. He activates Mishra's Bauble targeting himself, then moves to combat. He swings Luris at Carson, and there's no blocks. Carson takes 3 commander damage, then Evan passes. Jerry untaps, and in his upkeep, Evan draws a card from Mishra's Bauble. Jerry draws a card, and plays Urborg Tomb of Yogmoth. He activates Ashiok's plus 1 to make a Nightmare, then casts Flux Channeler and passes. Looter untaps, draws a card, and plays a Temple Garden untapped going down to 37. 
She casts Falco Spara. It enters with a shield counter. She moves to combat, and this triggers the Luminarch Aspirant again to put a plus one plus one counter on Falco Spara, and swings Avon Courier at Carson for two in the air, and this triggers Avon Courier to put a shield counter on itself. Looter passes the turn. Carson kicks off turn five by untapping and skipping his draw step. He casts Wandering Archaic and draws off Recycle. He casts Irresistible Prey targeting Blanca. There's a whole whack of triggers here. First off, Esper Sentinel, and Carson pays. Next up, Blanca. Each opponent takes two. Then Recycle, and Carson draws a card. Then Carson draws another card as Irresistible Prey resolves. He plays a Command Tower and draws off Recycle. He casts Chandra's Incinerator and draws another card. He moves to combat, swinging a 7-7 Blanca at Looter. It must be blocked due to Irresistible Prey. Looter blocks with Falco Spara, and the shield counter on it is removed. Carson moves to end step, discarding Reckless Impulse and charge through to hand size, then passes the turn. Evan untaps, draws a card, and plays a Swamp. He casts Skull Clamp. He follows it up with a Zulaport Cutthroat, and equips the Skull Clamp to Esper Sentinel, which dies. Evan draws two cards, and this triggers Zulaport Cutthroat. Jerry, Looter, and Carson each lose one, and Evan gains one. Using Luris' ability, he recasts Esper Sentinel from his graveyard. He equips Skull Clamp to Zulaport Cutthroat, drawing two more cards and triggering itself. Looter, Jerry, and Carson each lose one more, and Evan gains one more. Then Evan moves to the end of his turn, discarding a Swamp to hand size and passing. Jerry untaps, draws a card, and plays a Strip Mine. He casts the Eldest Reborn. This triggers Flux Channeler and Esper Sentinel. Jerry pays for the Esper Sentinel, then proliferates putting a counter on Ashiok. The Eldest Reborn causes Looter to sacrifice Luminarch Aspirant, Carson to sacrifice Wandering Archaic, and Evan to sacrifice Sarah Ascendant. Jerry activates Ashiok's minus three, bouncing Recycle to Carson's hand, and Carson chooses to exile Mana Geyser. Jerry moves to combat, attacking Evan with the Nightmare token, which triggers, so each opponent exiles two off the top of their libraries. Looter exiles Hadana's Climb and Wall of Roots, Carson exiles Swiftfoot Boots and Scattershot, and Evan exiles a Plains and a Corpse Knight. Evan declares no blocks, taking two and going to 42, then passes the turn. Looter untaps and draws a card. She casts a Grateful Apparition off the top of her library by removing a plus one plus one counter from Avon Courier. She then plays a Waterlog Grove as land for turn and moves to combat. Avon Courier and Falco Spara are both coming at Evan. This triggers Avon Courier, and Looter puts a shield counter on Falco Spara. There's no blocks, so Evan takes 5 going to 37. Then in her post-combat main, Looter casts Devoted Druid and passes the turn. Carson untaps, draws a card, and recasts Recycle. This triggers Esper Sentinel, and Carson pays for it. He plays a Rogue's Passage as land for turn, then draws a card. He casts Grape Shot, targeting Blanca with both copies. Evan, Jerry, and Looter each take 2 damage twice. The damage triggers Chandra's Incinerator, dealing 2 damage to Luris, Esper Sentinel, Ashiok, Flux Channeler, and then 2 damage to the Avon Courier twice, killing it. Casting the Grape Shot triggers Recycle, and Carson draws a card. He then moves to combat, swinging Chandra's Incinerator at Jerry for 6 and Blanca at Looter for 9. Looter blocks with Grateful Apparition, and Jerry declares no blocks, so he goes to 20. Then Carson passes the turn. Evan untaps, draws a card, and plays a Shine Shadow Schnarl, revealing a Schwamp. Evan casts an Arcane Signet, then casts Mind Slash, and passes the turn. Jerry untaps, draws a card, and ticks up Eldest Reborn. Each opponent discards a card. Looter discards Master Chef, Carson discards a Braid, and Evan discards a Basic Swamp. Jerry plays a Flooded Strand as his land for turn, then flips Nicol Bolas, and activates his plus two ability to draw two cards before passing the turn. Looter untaps, draws a card, and plays a Plains as her land for turn. She casts Denry Klin, Editor-in-Chief. This enters with a plus one plus one counter, then it triggers its own ability, and it gets another plus one plus one. Then Looter passes the turn. Carson untaps, skips his draw step, and casts Crimson Wisps targeting Blanca. This triggers Recycle to draw him a card, and triggers Blanca so each opponent takes two. The Blanca damage triggers the Incinerator, but at this point Evan has no targets. So Carson targets Jerry's Nightmare token, and for Looter he targets Falco Spara, removing its shield counter. Then Carson resolves Crimson Wisps to draw a card, and casts an Arcane Signet, drawing another card. He casts Gruel Signet, drawing one more, then plays Exotic Orchard as his land for turn, drawing another card. He casts Fists of Flame, targeting Blanca, triggering Recycle to draw. The targeting triggers Blanca, so each opponent takes two. Again, no targets for Evan, but Carson finishes off the Nightmare and deals another two damage to Falco Spara. 
The Fists of Flame resolves, giving Blanca Trample, plus 6 plus 0, and draws Carson another card, making Blanca a 15-9 with Trample. He moves to combat, swinging the Incinerator at Nicol Bolas, and Blanca at Evan. There's no blocks, and Evan goes to 14 life with 20 commander damage from Blanca. Carson passes, discarding a mountain to hand size. Evan untaps, draws a card, and plays a high market as land for turn. He casts Abdel Adrian, Gorian's ward. It enters the battlefield, triggering its own ability, exiling his arcane signet, mind slash, and skull clamp to make three 1 1 soldiers. Then Evan passes. Jerry untaps, draws a card, and ticks up Eldest Reborn to reanimate Flux Channeler. He plays a Wooded Foothills, then casts a Wheel of Fortune. This triggers Flux Channeler to put a counter on Nicol Bolas. Looter responds by activating Devoted Druid to untap it, then removing the minus one minus one counter from it to cast Dromoga's Command off the top of her deck. She makes Carson sacrifice an enchantment and puts another plus one plus one counter on Denry Klin. The Wheel of Fortune resolves, and Jerry discards a Night Veil Spectre, Polluted Delta, and a Misty Rainforest. Looter's hellbent so she doesn't discard anything. Carson discards a forest and a mountain. Evan discards Phyrexian Revoker, Elisil Core, and Opposition Agent. And everyone draws a new grip of seven cards. Jerry casts Crux of Fate. This triggers the Flux Channeler to proliferate and add a counter to Nicol Bolas. The Crux of Fate resolves, and Jerry chooses to destroy all non-dragon creatures. Abdel Adrian dies, and this returns Skull Clamp, Mind Slash, and Arcane Signet back to play. Jerry activates Nicol Bolas's minus four to bring Ashiok Nightmare's Muse into play from the graveyard. Then he activates Ashiok's plus one to put a 2-3 Nightmare into play and passes the turn. Looter untaps, draws a card, and plays a Brushland. She casts Agent's Toolkit. She casts Ishai and moves a shield counter from the toolkit onto it before passing the turn. Carson untaps, draws a card, and plays a Mountain as his land for turn. Then he casts Blanca, triggering Ishai. He casts Jessica's Will, targeting Evan, triggering Ishai again. It resolves, so Carson exiles three from the top of his library, and makes seven red mana. He casts Zada, triggering Ishai again. Then casts Ancestral Anger, targeting Zada, which triggers Ishai, and Zada copies it, targeting Blanca. The targeting triggers Blanca to deal two damage to each opponent. Then Carson resolves each Ancestral Anger to draw one card twice. Carson casts Wheel of Fortune, triggering Ishai again. Evan responds by flashing in Archivist of Ogma, which triggers Ishai. Then he holds priority and casts Entomb, triggering Ishai again. The Entomb resolves, and Evan bins Animate Dead. The Archivist resolves, then Wheel of Fortune resolves. Carson discards Itali, Ignite the Future, Llanowar Elves, and Three Lands. Evan discards Angelic Renewal, Wall of Omens, Isolated Chapel, Plains, and Phyrexian Tower. Jerry discards Cruel Ultimatum, Mystic Confluence, Dark Intimations, Arid Mesa, Watery Grave, and City of Brass. Looter discards Angelic Sleuth, Fight Rigging, Polluted Delta, Hallowed Fountain, and Scoot Mob. Then everyone draws seven cards. Carson casts Expedite targeting Zada. This triggers Ishai and Zada, so Zada copies it, and the new copy is targeting Blanca. This triggers Blanca to deal two damage to each opponent, then Carson draws one card twice as both of the Expedites resolve. He moves to combat, swinging Blanca at Evan, who blocks with the Archivist of Ogma, but still dies due to trampling commander damage. He also swings a 4-3 Zada at Jerry, and Jerry blocks it with the Nightmare. Jerry takes one damage off the trample, and each opponent exiles two cards off the top with the Nightmare trigger. Carson exiles Season of Growth and Primal Amulet, and Looter exiles Bountiful Promenade and Kadama of the West Tree. Carson passes, discarding a Mountain to hand size. Jerry untaps and draws a card. He activates Nicol Bolas's plus two to draw two cards, then casts Preordain, triggering Ishai. He resolves the Preordain, bottoming both cards, then drawing. He casts Spellskite. He activates Ashiok's minus three to bounce Blanca back to Carson's hand, and Carson exiles Farseek from his hand. Jerry plays an island as his land for turn, then casts Tezzeret the Schemer, triggering Ishai. Jerry activates Tezzeret's minus two, targeting Zada to give it plus three minus three, which kills the Zada. Then Jerry passes. Looter untaps, draws a card, and casts Scavenging Ooze. When it enters, she moves the flying counter on it from Agent's Toolkit. She casts Sparring Regiment. Looter learns, discarding Idyllic Beachfront and drawing a card. She follows it up by casting a Rochi Merge Keeper, moving a Death Touch counter onto it from Agent's Toolkit. Then she plays a Tangled Islet as land for turn. She moves to combat, attacking Carson with a giant Ishai. This triggers the Sparring Regiment, untapping the Ishai and putting a counter on it. 
Carson has no blocks, so he takes 13 damage, then Looter passes. Carson kicks off turn 9 by untapping and drawing a card. He plays a Mountain, then casts a Goblin and Narcomancer, triggering Ishai. Then he casts Blanca, which triggers Ishai. Jerry responds by cracking Flooded Strand going to 10 and grabbing a basic island. He uses it to cast a Counterspell, which triggers Ishai again. Blanca is countered, and he goes back to the Command Zone. Carson casts Bergy, triggering Ishai one more time. Carson casts Maniform Hellkite, which triggers Ishai again, and Carson passes. Jerry untaps and draws a card. He activates Nickel Bolas' plus two to draw two cards. He then activates Ashiok's minus three, bouncing Scavenging Ooze to Looter's hand, and Looter exiles Map the Wastes. Jerry casts Liliana Dreadhorde General, triggering Ishai. When it enters, he activates Liliana's minus four, and each player sacrifices two creatures. Carson responds by casting Unexpected Windfall, discarding Nature's Lore. This makes Carson a 3-3 dragon off the Maniform Hellkite, and when the spell resolves, he draws two cards and makes two treasures. The Liliana activation resolves. Carson sacrifices Maniform Hellkite and the Dragon Token. Jerry sacrifices Spellskite. Looter sacrifices Ishai and Orochi Merge Keeper. Jerry activates Tezzeret's plus one to create an Ethereum cell, then immediately sacrifices it to make a black, along with five other mana to cast Bolus's Citadel. He plays Cardin's Bastion off the top of his library as his land for turn. He then pays two life to cast Cyclonic Rift, bouncing Bergy to Carson's hand. He pays three life to cast Windfall off the top. Jerry discards Solemn Simulacrum, Scalding Tarn, Tezzeret Master of the Bridge, Nickel Bolus, an Island, a Marsh Flats, a Court of Ambition, and Tezzeret Artifice Master. Looter discards Scavenging Ooze, Cauldron of Souls, Slippery Bog Bonder, and a Plains. And Carson discards Forest, Bergy, Mizix's Mastery, and Reiterate. Jerry, Looter, and Carson each draw eight cards off the Windfall, then Jerry passes, discarding Wasteland to hand size. Looter untaps, draws a card, and casts Forgotten Ancient. Then she plays a Prairie Stream as land for turn. She casts a morph face down, putting a plus one plus one counter on it as it enters via Agent's Toolkit. Then she passes the turn. Carson kicks off turn 10 by untapping, drawing a card, and playing Den of the Bugbear tapped. He casts Aetherflux Reservoir, triggering Forgotten Ancient. Then he casts a Mana Grip, triggering the Ancient again, gaining two life and going to 20. He casts Desperate Ritual, triggering the Forgotten Ancient and gaining three life. He casts Escape to the Wilds, triggering the Forgotten Ancient, gaining four life. This allows him to exile the top five cards of his library, which are Gitu Fire Breathing, Manamorphos, Storm King's Thunder, Storm Kiln Artist, and a Mountain. He plays a basic mountain from among the exiled cards. He casts Valakut Awakening, triggering Forgotten Ancient, gaining five life. Valakut Awakening resolves to put three cards from hand onto the bottom of the library, and Carson draws four cards. He casts Storm King's Thunder X equals six, triggering the Forgotten Ancient and gaining six life. He then casts Manamorphos, triggering the Forgotten Ancient and gaining 7 life. Manamorphos gets copied 6 times, making 10 red and 4 green mana, and drawing Carson 7 cards. He uses 8 of the floating mana to cast Blanca, triggering the Forgotten Ancient and gaining 8 life. He casts Keen Sense targeting Blanca, triggering the Forgotten Ancient, then Blanca triggers and Looter and Jerry each take 2 damage. Then Aetherflux Reservoir triggers and Carson gains 9 life. He casts G2 Fire Breathing, triggering the Forgotten Ancient. Blanca triggers, and Jerry and Looter each take two. Then Carson gains 10 life off the Reservoir, and the Keen Sense trigger draws Carson two cards. He then casts Crown of Flames, targeting Blanca, triggering the Forgotten Ancient. This triggers Blanca, and Jerry and Looter each take another two, killing Jerry. Then Aetherflux Reservoir triggers, and Carson gains 11. Finally, Keen Sense triggers, and Carson draws two cards. Carson finishes it off by casting Chandra's Ignition, targeting Blanca, to kill Looter. What a banger. I haven't looked into it, but this has to be the most game actions and triggers that have ever happened in a game with our patrons. Huge thanks to Carson, Evan, and Looter for joining us on the show today. And if you want to get in on the action, head over to our Patreon. The link's in the video description below. We'll catch you next time.